Video advertising revenue has been more or less flat since 2010 and took a real hit last year. And over that time, digital advertising has grown by leaps and bounds. And audio subscription services have grown too. For example, Spotify in 2020 earned about $9.2 billion in a mix of subscription and advertising revenue. And again, that's comparable to the entirety of the US radio broadcasting market. This imbalance cannot last forever. Behemoth digital platforms cannot, on the one hand, benefit from market dominance supercharged by a relative lack of regulation, and then on the other, wield that dominance against traditional broadcasters who never had the opportunity to compete on a level playing field, and who, in fact, whose entire model is very often about the personal relationship, not just the automated relationship with an algorithm. The Commission lacks an obvious path to regulate these digital media platforms. We're going to have to see what Congress wants to do on that front. But what we can do, however, is account for this market dynamic through judicious restraint on our regulatory authority over broadcast media. Is there a case for regulation in broadcasting? Absolutely. I'm sure no one in this room would argue otherwise. But it, does that mean that current regulation is, um, is imposing no unbearable burdens, is not making things overly difficult? That's more of an open question. The Commission, I think, can reduce burdens to broadcasters and offer them greater freedom of operation. Of course, the airwaves are a public trust and we're obligated to treat them in a special way. But if we think that commercial operators are best positioned to operate on these airwaves, and inarguably they are in my point of perspective, we have to permit them to earn a reasonable return on their invested capital. We have to ensure that they have a path to success.